so uh, yeah, still two. Uh, Brent reached out to the boys, suggested we should uh, get back out and do a follow-up yeah, feature up. here. The hands are getting a little shot. How many days has it been, Trev? <laughs> the, the, the thumb. Yeah, my cranked out thumb. You're making a nice deeper. Yeah, it's smooth. <laughs> here it comes. Ow! Fuck, that hurts! Making it a little bit more real and representative of, uh, you know, how it really goes down in the caribou here, so... Feel some cheese strings. It's like, uh... Shredded cheese, but you just gotta do it with your fingers. Oh, and then you just yeah. lay them down. Then you just lay them down. Might cut some baby bells in half too. Ooh. We thought it was important to get out here. You know, lots of us started stillwater fishing, camping and fishing. You know, that's what we did around the fire. I know myself in the tent trailer with my dad, camping, stillwater fishing. So we want to take it back to that. I know that lots of us stillwater fishermen, that's what we do. Any bells going? Yeah, we got, we got <laughs> it all three. <laughs> cheese strings, smokies, can of, can of beans. Some really fun nights, you know, fly tying, having some drinks, hanging out by the fire, you know, everyone sharing their fishing stories. We're all having a good time and it was a really great group. Check this out, we got some lakeside Chinook. That lake. Oh mint. Stray apple. The stray apple. Wow. Holy shit, that's hot. Yeah, that just came off. Like I can do it. You got her? Right in my mouth. Oh, oh yeah. Smoke well, commitment. Hey. That's a newer. Yeah, get her on there. <laughs> cheese string on there. Little <laughs> string action. Beauty, right there. Oh, it's got oh. the baby bell. Baby bell in the middle. The cheese strings. Let's give it the squish. Hey, the little bird squish. Get everything mixed in there. I guarantee it's cooked. <laughs> oh it yeah. It is pretty dark out. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, you know, you, you, you go up to the lake and you're going for the big fish, you're going for those big caribou fish. But uh, one of the, the best parts for me is just the uh, the good times by the campfire. Hey dog for me? I will roll your wow. dogs. I appreciate that, Craig. It's a classic choice there. Yeah. Yeah, when I run my brats, I like a little just straight mustard. Cheese is a nice touch though, thank you, Craig. Yeah, some excellent times camping with everybody. Had it all set up at Brent's camp there. Uh, excellent fires, generators rolling, beers are flowing. Um, it was nice that uh, Ryan got uh, the JBC to hook us up with some nice cold cans again. Getting down. Yeah. Uh, great group, great fire, great stories. The music has been unbelievable. And uh, this could be the best camping trip I've had in many years. Van Fly Fishing, AKA Stanton Jack showed up nice little spot here. We got back from fishing today and looks a bit like a Walmart park lot, yeah, doesn't so, it? Oh yeah, got, got sandwiched in. Sandwiched in, yeah. yeah. Just looked like a bale in the hay in the back probably to the rest <laughs> of these campers. <laughs> yeah. Feed the what, cows. They don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> you see a green, it's like a smurf house. Uh, moved in on a bit over here. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah. Well, you know, know your neighbor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where the magic happens. This is where it all changes. <laughs> there it is. So you just climb in there. There it is, man. What do we got here for uh, sleeping out? Uh, I got the little Coleman 10 by 10. A little shelter. We've been lucky though. It has rained very much. Emphasis on little. 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 <laughs> and then we're rocking. Uh, I'm rocking the old Cabela's. Well, there she is. Tent there. A little spank Hot. tank. 
Luxury. Yeah, you betcha. That's how oh, I look roll. How clean and organized. How many days you been in? Uh, this would be day 14 straight fishing. <laughs> Arpod? This is an Arpod. Arpod, Arpod. Got the caribou mud all over it though. Oh, there's a the little normie. Hey, little normie. with this trip right now is they're not trying hard enough. I, I don't know how many fish we caught, but I can tell you, I think we probably lost more than we caught. Um, it, it was ridiculous. At the net, unbutton, unbutton. Halfway through the fight, unbutton. About to net it and it's just folding to go in, go in, and your rod's up like that, and uh, and then it doesn't. And, uh, happens to the best of them, right? So just part of the game. Seconds of defeat there. Boy, oh boy, I tell you that goes with uh, goes with the territory. You know, you're fishing small patterns, uh, you know, size 16, size 18, hooks, barbless. Um, that's just the way she rolls and it's part of the game, so. Chromie that I tied up there, a uh, very productive pattern for this body of water. Fishing it in uh, 18 to 20 foot of water, uh, again a 16 2 XL uh, Chromie pattern. that was working best for me, it was the Blue Dunn, size 15 Alec Jackson's crystal. And just a Blue Dunn body, copper rib, black nickel bead head with some white gills. Super slim, and that was referred to me by Buddy Jordan Ulrich there. And it seems to just work everywhere. You know, it doesn't matter what's hatching, no fish are on it. That's been my most perfect Cronman pattern since the spring. It was good. Yeah, we got to do some tying around the campfire, you know, it was great. Uh, I tied what I'm calling the caribou shake, bloodworm. A uh, really simple, extra small wire wrapped all the way down and then seven, eight segments up, maybe a middle section to it. Simple bloodworms were key over the last three years. So the fly I, I'm tying here has a pheasant tail, a body, and uh, gold uh, wire rib, and uh, we use peacock curl for the thorax, and uh, the legs are all, um, you know, split uh, wing case pheasant, pheasant tail. And um, yeah, we hang that out there at 12 feet down and 16 feet of water, and they let the drift go.
that's a 100 to 400 millimeter. So we're able to be, you know, 60, 80 feet away, but be sitting on target. There's a lot of uh, repositioning, pulling anchors, resetting anchors um, to make sure you're in the zone because it is pretty important to find that depth um, and that's where we were having the luck. That 18 foot, that just seemed to be where the fish were holding up and uh, when you're on a shoal it's really tough uh, in the wind to keep it there. So uh, a lot of wind drifting uh, to drift it past into the zone and like I say a lot of repositioning to make sure you're, you're staying in the zone for as long as you can with those indicators. Uh, right on the bottom, right on top of the mud, is what's, what was doing the best for me. So, uh, you know, I was able to, to land a few nice ones. I had one take me right into my backing, so that was a lot of fun. I uh, put up a good fight, but was able to, to land a few, so that was fun. And uh, woke up Thursday morning, beautiful day. Uh, we fished hard, fished hard that first day. We all got into fish. It was, you know, for me personally, it was probably my best day of the trip. I caught some really nice fish on the deer hair gonfus, stripping a type seven. 
short choppy quick retrieves right on the bottom three feet a liter uh killer just locking up when, the, when you're making those strips it was uh that was a good day the ball raising we keep moving it up ain't no surprises here they knew it was us apologies if i was doing too much but i always came through in the clutch i got faith restored why you pushing the brakes i ain't full of myself boy i'm full of mistakes i came from humble and roots i'm here to stand and deliver had no one gassing me up except the man in the mirror i used to work on my handles and now it's handles a liquor i write these songs in a dark room the candle will flicker i stay practicing heavy for when the game's on the line it's like over and over i run the plays in my mind i'm a psycho i'm taking my time Russian perfection is a dangerous crime. You gotta give it or take it. That's what you do till you make it. I had to roll with the punches and take the hits from the flagrants. I'm saying the ball raising, we keep moving it up. And no surprises here, they knew it was us. Apologies if I was doing too much, but I always came through in the clutch. A North game don't mean I'm losing my touch. And no excuses, I ain't using a crutch. Apologies if I was doing too much. Well, all right, just give me a second here. I gotta think. <laughs> really pay attention to the wind direction because one minute you're in 15 and the next minute your flight, you know, goes out to that 18 feet. So the best thing that we could do is just, you know, get as close down to the mud as possible and that way you're able to stay close to the bottom. Simple blood worms just that were working best for us. We had just simple size 16 2X um, red body, red tinsel wrap, maybe the odd silver wire on it. No, no bead head. Um, Chronomid's pretty small, 16, 18, 2x. Stanton Jack just showed up. The Moby passing. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. We had a big jump in the heat. You could feel it getting warmer and it was kind of getting muggy out. And this hatch is happening. And uh, I bomb out my, uh, my indicator just off the reeds, kind of get it tight on the line, kind of just let it sit, let it get its depth, do a few twitches, and then it's bobber down. And uh, you know, it, it did really well, that balanced pheasant tail along those reeds for sure.
Gotta aim for the top like, hold up, yeah. I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when the dust settles. So I'm in my element, it's evident that this levels to the game. All of those dark nights I got then, breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like pain. I ain't never need your help, I know you wishing me well. A penny for your thoughts, but seeing no change. I snap for the sun like Diddy, the riches got a mad ass son, I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up, whole team with me. But known for my city like OAGZ. Set the pace as long as you finish. Consumers find a way inside your business. If they try to dabble in it and they hate the fact that they may have to witness You try to aim for the top like this and you're in your element with a fire like this And they're hoping you fall and they praying you miss But it's all in the risk, I got you with the switch, you know How's it been? Actually, it's been pretty slow times. The weather's changing up and down, bouncing. Uh, certain periods of the day have been very, very good. 11.30 to 1, 3.30 to 5, and there's a little slow time in between, but other than that, it's been fairly productive. I get all superstitious like that. Yeah. Switched my hat today. Yeah. Like I was like, changing my hat, not getting any fish. Yeah, I changed my hat too. It didn't work. Oh no, I went back to it. So, what are we going to do when you're pulling out? We're going to pass the baton. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pull out. We're going to pass the baton. Uh, through a reel on this new 10-4 linear here. I'm pretty excited to fish oh, today. Yeah. Kind of a nice steel water morning, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, free beer was the recipe for disaster. <laughs> Staying up later. <laughs>